going to take a look at the software MSI is included with the A85X motherboard. Uh, first is the supercharger um, that just takes your USB 3.0 ports and makes them super so that they, uh, they charge faster, increases the voltage to them. Uh, next we have the Click BIOS 2. Click BIOS 2 just gives you a Windows GUI version of the UEFI BIOS. Uh, you can make changes through here, just look and find out what your settings are, but uh, any changes you will have to reset the uh, computer to take effect. Next we have the control center. Now the control center basically gives you uh, the, the general control of the computer. It lets you do uh, the overclocking, see what your uh, current settings of everything are, uh, voltages, changes, things like that. Things things that uh, with the Click BIOS you can't do on the fly, you can do on the fly through here. They also have the OC Genie option. Green Power lets you change your fans uh, to start your own graphs and trends to keep your system as cool and as green as possible. You can do overall recording and then they also have a mobile app. You can turn the server on and off so that you can uh, do monitoring through your phone as well as little changes. Next we have the live update software. It just keeps track of everything for you. The live update will do automatic or manual scans on all the MSI software and then tell you if there's any newer versions out. Uh, it'll keep track of your history. You can set it to remind you periodically Next is the Audio Genie. The Audio Genie just makes little audio enhancements. If you have the THX Studio installed, this is kind of the same as when you have the headphones in, in the um, Realtek software where you can change like how the speakers output some of the frequency changes. The next software is the Video Genie. Um, what the Video Genie does is similar to like uh, the AMD software, if you go inside the Catalyst Control Center, it'll take video and try to improve the colors, make it look a little better. It doesn't look like there's any kind of settings you can change with this. It's really more just an enable and disable feature. Teaming Genie is more for the server environment. What this does is it allows you to team together more than one network controller. Uh, this motherboard only comes with one, so this would be something that if you were to add extra cards to, you would be using. And the last software is the Network Genie. Uh, the Network Genie, what this does is it just routes, uh, prioritizes your uh, packets. Um, you can change it to game mode, movie streaming mode, browser mode, or just leave it on auto. Um, you can set priorities for applications, limit their upload download speeds, internet speeds, those sorts of things. Just to prioritize your packet flow, your internet flow, so that no programs are taking over while you know, you're know you gaming or watching movies, that sort of thing. Similar to what you can do in a router, but this is more of a nice software version.